Hi guys, Josh here. Welcome to Frames Per Second. Today we're here with Bronte. Hey guys. And we're doing a little photo shoot, six, late 60s, early 70s inspired. And we're just gonna have some yep. fun with that. So now we're shooting some Portrait 800. So this I'll actually meter at 200 because it takes overexposure really well. And then I should probably turn this on. And there we go. And we'll see how they turn out. So here we are and once again we're shooting Portrait 800 because it is my favourite and it's a very versatile film. And here we are with Bronte in a pantsuit because I think pantsuits are great and more people should wear them. But yeah, it was a pretty high contrast lighting situation. Like the shade was quite dark and then the sun was super bright. And so it was kind of lucky I was metering at 200 not 800 with the portrait because otherwise it would have been even worse with the shadow detail. So. Yeah, there's some good shots. Portrait 800 has great color, and I, I honestly think it is the best high speed color film out there. And yeah, I, I like this location. I kind of wished that the street wasn't as busy because then I would have been a bit further out for a bit more of these shots. But for 800 speed, it handles being overexposed quite well, and you get less grain from that too. Yeah, it was tricky with how the sun was positioned. I think this was around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We were originally going to do a different outfit at a different location, but we ended up running late with makeup and hair, so we didn't end up getting to use that place. So then this was going to be the last location of the shoot, but it ended up being the first, just because we were closer to it than the other locations. And here you can see you're still able to get quite a bit of detail out of the shadows, while also still retaining detail in the highlights even though you're bringing it up and I just added a bit of that classic Kodak warmth and yeah I, I had a good time on the shoot I do kind of wish I just shot more but film and developing is expensive and so I do limit the amount of film I shoot when doing photo shoots of course if this was a paid shoot I would have shot a lot more but it wasn't so yeah. If you want, you can keep your eyes closed because obviously I count down anyway. So even though I did count down, unfortunately Bronte was just a bit slow with opening her eyes. So we, but she has a nice smile anyway. This shot I do quite like a bit, the power stance and the pantsuit. I'm just a big fan. And here we go a bit more close up. I do kind of wish I did position myself a little bit differently. Maybe a bit more to the right and a little bit from a lower angle. And then we have the last shot, which was a bit tricky because her shoes were slipping a bit on that. But I think it turned out nice. And I'll just bring a bit more color from that. Just make it a bit more brighter and warmer, which is kind of the look I tend to like. And so that was the first location. Then we moved on to the second location, which was... A random house in my suburb. Yeah, like one of the things I like to do is drive around, find nice old looking houses, and I will try knock on the door, see if anybody's home, and let's see if they will let me shoot. And this person was nice enough to let us shoot. Sometimes I do just check on the day when I go to the place, but this one I did a week in advance, just cause like organizing Bronte's schedule was a bit tricky. So I wanted to make sure that we could actually do it at this location and this outfit I got off Marketplace, including the hat. And yeah, here you can see just a high co a contrast situation we're dealing with. It's very bright sun, which when you're exposing for that, it makes the shadows so much more darker. But this shot turned out quite nice. We were able to get a bit more detail out of the shadows, even though it's still a super high contrast situation, but I think it turned out nice enough. And this shot, yeah, you can see underneath the hat, shadows really intense, so. This is part of the reason why people say it's better to shoot when it's cloudy, just because you have less contrast, so you can add it more later, rather than having to bring stuff out of the shadows and making the shadows grainier than they need to be. And so yeah, unfortunately, it just happened to be a very bright day when Bronte was available, and so there was quite a bit of difference between the highlights, the shadows, and the mids. So this shot I still kind of like, even though it is a bit dark. I could easily edit it to bring more out of it. It was kind of tricky playing with this hat 
because it was hard to stay on. I think you have to pin it on your head, really, and then part of it kind of rolled down. This shot I do like quite a bit, and front lighting it really brings out the color. And we got kind of lucky that even though she's reaching up, we can't see her underwear, so we're safe in that aspect as well. And so this was definitely one of the worst lighting situations as far as contrast goes. And I do kind of regret it because yeah, the shot's kind of unusable for me, unfortunately. And yeah, not no bueno. But this shot, last shot, even though it does have a lot of contrast, I do like how it turned out. And I I think I need to try to do a bit more close-ups just because I have been shooting a lot wider lately. But what I really should have done is brought a reflector and bounced up so that I could have got her eyes because it is super dark there and you can't really see any detail. And then we're off to the last location which is all going to be front lit so we're not going to have as much contrast problems. Particularly because it's, it's an open area, there's not much shadow to have to deal with. Brody looks great, this outfit's really fun. And yeah, I just love Portrait 800. It's really nice when you overexpose it because you get less grain. And the colouring of it is just unlike any of the other portraits. And that's kind of why it is my favourite of the portrait range. And definitely one of my favourite colour negative films. And this just looks great, look how great that blue looked. And you really get the colours out. And this is kind of why I like front lighting when I can, especially in environments where there's not a lot of shadows, and that's because you yeah, kind of get the full range of color a bit more than if you're backlighting it, because you're losing some, some of the saturation from the shadows when you do backlight. This was just a random house in my suburb as well, and I kind of just like the texture of the garage doors and the fact that there was two of them, even though I mostly just used one of them. <laughs> but I like the peeling of the paint, and I just sort of go with this outfit as well. And if anything, I kind of wish that the paint turned out a bit bluer. And that's more just because it's rather faded from the sun. So it wasn't as poppy as I would have liked. But yeah, it was a fun shoot. Bronte was really nice to work with. We had met on a shoot a friend of mine did. That will also be part of a future episode. So that will be coming either next week or the week after. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, um, I, I think I could have been a bit better with some of this posing. That's more of me. But this last one with her jumping is super fun. I just kind of wish her hair wasn't in her face, but not much you can do about that when you're jumping. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like the images. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know which ones are your favorite, what cameras you like, what film you liked. And guys, please like and subscribe. Turn this post notifications when there's a new episode. Anyway, let's step Bronte. I would thank Diana Thanks. Lina behind the camera for the help with makeup <laughs> and just assisting. And just get out there, shoot some film. Thank you.